Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Want to thank uh, almost 500 subscribers here. Very impressed, everyone. Thank you for subscribing uh, up to almost 10,000 views. Just wanted to point out that I created some playlists for your viewing pleasure, so I hope you enjoy them. Okay, where we left off last time, I talked about exam preparation for almost any type of exam. So I said to myself, you know what? I need to show people how to create a mind map, and I'm going to do it for the ServiceNow Certified System Ad Administrator exam. And I took this exam probably three to four years ago, um, passed it, um, wasn't much of a problem, but I feel that one of the components that really would have helped me out was doing some stuff in the tool um, just because it helps you visualize a little bit better. So I'm going to create um, a series of videos with the mind maps in there, and we'll put them all together um, at the very end. So the first concept that, or question that I think could be on the exam um, might be about business rules. And it might ask me something like, what is the table name? And it's sys underscore script. So now if I go to the tool, inside the platform, and this is really where it's going to help you visualize, um, you'll see right up here the sys underscore script. You'll see this underscore list, but if we really wanted to go to it by typing this in here in the, in the filter, we would do sys underscore script dot list. And then it would bring up this table right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two and I'm going to make them into just one list here. Okay. Now, the next thing I think might be on the exam could be something about workflows. So, I might say something like, uh, what are the three components, I think, is the um, terminology that they might use. So, <clears throat> those are kind of the keywords that I was talking about, that you're going to have keywords in the, in the question, and you're going to have keywords in the answer. So, I came up with approvals, notifications, tasks, or if I wanted to, I could just do an emoji of an ant, and that might help me remember all three of these. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to slide it over right here. Now you'll notice that the mind map isn't really, um, it's not uniform in terms of the number of columns um, and rows, which is fine for me. I just want to be able to remember these things um, when I go into the test. So this is going to help me uh, remember it. So I'm just going to open that up a little bit. And then the third thing I thought about was, uh, I, I remember there was a question about the task table and which, you know, of these uh, answers or whatever it is extends the task table. So I created problem incident change request, or I could remember it as pick. I tried to find a, a guitar pick emoji, was unsuccessful. Didn't really look too hard though, so I wasn't um, you know, really looking for it online, but I'm sure I could have came up with something cute like that. So if I wanted to see this in the tool, and um, let's, let's take a look at the workflow first before I move on to that one. We'll see here, I have the, uh, here's the approval, here's the notification, and then here's a catalog task, but basically it's a task. So task would, um, would be the, the correct uh, answer, I believe, on the exam, if I recall correctly. And then if I wanted to find where uh, the tables are located, I could look at, um, I could go to system definition um, tables. And then also in the user documentation, you might see something referred to as table extension and classes, and it has the same example listed there. So sometimes they do that. They pull it right out of the documentation and they'll regurgitate it on the exam. So if you look at the filter that I set up here, Basically, what I wanted to find was um, something that was created by system, or basically not me. And if it extends task, and this would give me all the tables here um, that extend task. So I have this extends table column right here. And the way to get here would be, again, system definition tables. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and paste it. And before I forget, I uh, just wanted to add that sponsorship opportunities are available. So if your organization is looking um, potentially to uh, spend some advertising dollars, um, Aspen now is now offering sponsorship opportunities. 
and you can contact me um, on LinkedIn or uh, through the YouTube channel there is an about me um, segment too. So here's the first part of our mind map. We have, uh, we have three rows here and um, we're going to continue on with this in some future videos. I'm Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions. And we just unlock the power of service now. Thank you and have a great day.